bus pulled into Albany this afternoon. Fox 31's Jessica Fairley joins us live with more. Jessica? Romney, those aboard the Ethics Express say now is the time for voters to demand honesty from the government. And they say a good start is by limiting the amount of money a lobbyist can spend on those in the General Assembly. When signing up to board the Ethics Express, supporters knew they were in for a long ride. 14 cities in four days. Those with the Tea Party Patriots Common Cause and Conservatives in Action say there is no single issue on the ballot more important than ethics reform. Not the economy, nor the state's infrastructure. Each and every one of those issues require voters to place some degree of trust and confidence in their government. A trust they say has been broken by generations of elected officials who've made broken promises or been indicted for ethics violations. McCoon says one example of lost trust is the t Plus referendum. All over the state, we're, they're having significant difficulty convincing voters that the money that is collected will actually be spent on these projects. Why? Because voters don't trust elected officials and who can blame them? The senator says one way to build trust in government is to support question two. This would place a $100 cap on gift from lobbyists to members of the General Assembly. Those against question two call it a liberal proposal. <laughs> Republicans and Democrats know that they can vote in their primaries to help limit lobbyist gifts. Supporters of ethics reform hold that there are only two things people expect out of government. That's competency and honesty. Demanding honest government and demanding a standard of excellence from your elected officials, it's not a Republican value, it's not a Democratic value, it's an American value. Now more than 130 candidates for the legislature have signed the pledge in support of ethics reform. Romney.